Tarot. Now, lots of people like to go fishing off a pier with their feet trailing in the water. I'm the same way, except I have my feet on the road and I travel around the country fishing for answers. Then I bring them back to our in-studio contestants to see if they can guess who reeled in the answers and who should be cut loose. So let's give our contestants the once over. Hello, Shonda! Hello! She's so pretty. And Matt, where's Matt? Other fish in the sea, there's only one winning prize on the show. So throw out your lines and see what you can catch. Now, let's meet our three shining starfish of the screens. First, Ashley tells us the best thing about senior year. Here's a hint. It rhymes with schmarty. So, Ashley, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Castleton, New York. I live right outside the Capitol. Okay. Albany, and I go to school. You're, you're in high school still? You're a senior? High school. I'm a senior. Senior year's the best, right? It is. Parties. Your parents are right over there. Do you want them to hear that? you say that? No, I'm just kidding. Right, you don't <laughs> drink, right? I'm... Of course not. Just dance. Have fun. Yeah. Now, speaking of, of, of dances, I understand there's something you can do that's kind of a special treat. I can roll my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> then Ben shows us why his dance moves made us say hi, hi, hi. So, Ben, what do you do? I basically run track, play basketball, football. So Ben, you went to this wedding last night. I understand yeah. you have like a little routine you guys do to... And sync. <laughs> oh, bye, bye, bye. Ah! So if you could date someone famous, who are you thinking about? Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee. He is man. If you could date someone? Oh, date someone. Yeah, I said date. I don't know. share some of his shining white pearlies of wisdom. So Andy, what do you do? Where are you from? I'm from Temecula, California, and I am a dentist. You're a dentist. I got a, a, a cut right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably hate that. People are always uh, like, yeah, hey. all the time. I tell them I'm, uh, you know, a gas station operator or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, do you get a lot of ribbon from the, about the movie Little Shop of Horrors with the dentist and, you know? Oh, we get a few ribs about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then, oh, I, marathon I, Man, remember that yeah, one? Yeah, oh, yeah. I got, you're not going to Marathon Man me or anything. Or, <laughs> Is it safe? Or like, you know, hey, Doc, you're looking down in the mouth today or something. Yes. You know, they, I hear those all the time. So I hear all the time. <laughs> Is it safe? All right, let's bait the hook and find out. Who knew it? That's right. I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. Lock in your choice is a correct guess. Earned you $100. Let's set sail. Here we go. First question to Ashley, Ben, and Andy. I showed all three this photo, and I asked them, <laughs> this guy's catchphrase, catchphrase is, dude, you're getting a what? So what do you think, guys? Who could answer that one correctly? So lock in as quickly as you can. And OK, you're just about both locked in. Both go with Ben. Shonda, you think he's the one? I think he does. I think he definitely knows it. OK, Matt? I think Ben knows that he's you know, doing the NSYNC facts. Right, right, he knows the young <laughs> stuff. All right, let's take a look. Ben, this guy's catchphrase is, dude, you're getting a what? Oh, you're getting a Dale, man. This guy. This guy. Who's this guy? So do I. Yeah, oh. go hit it. Punch him. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, before we move on, let's see what the lovely Ashley said on that one. This guy's catchphrase is, dude, you're getting a what? A compact. <laughs> All right, real quick, why not? Let's check out Andy's. Andy, this guy's catchphrase is, dude, you're getting a what? Dude, you're getting a what? Dude, you're getting a big old smile. <laughs> You should keep smiling, because you know what? 15 minutes is tick talking. <laughs> Here's the next question. <laughs> rhinoplasty surgery is performed when you want to alter what body part? Rhinoplasty surgery. So who knew about that? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. All right, you're both locked in. You both think Andy, Matt, he's the one. He's a dentist. All right, Sean, are you agree yeah, with that? He has to have a clue. All right, let's take a look. Rhinoplasty surgery is performed when you want to alter what body part? Hey, you're asking the dentist. I got this one. It is the nose, buddy. Yeah! That's the right answer. Way to go, guys. Nice job. You're both up to $200. And let's take a look in with my buddy Ben here on this one. Rhinoplasty surgery is performed when you want to alter what body part? Your private? <laughs> so what would you do? Rhinoplasty, you maybe want to get a... Get a, a ring on the... A ring on it? On the ding. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, man. All right, you guys are doing great. We have one more question in the round. 
You both uh, got 200 bucks, perfect scores. If someone calls you a Budinsky, what are they accusing you of doing? So what do you think, guys? Trying to go for a perfect score here. Who knew that one? Ashley, Ben, or Andy? Uh, Rat. Looks like Matt's almost ready. Shonda is in too. Oh, you're both locked in with Ashley. You guys are you guys are thinking the same way. Shonda, she's gonna know this one. I think so. I think she's gonna at least know this one. Okay, now you agree. She's in high school. Right. <laughs> cool All right, let's take a look. If someone calls you a buttinski, what are they accusing you of doing? Butting into somebody's conversation. Right. Who do you, who does that a lot to you? No, I'm just saying, like, is there someone that you know that does that a lot? My mom. No, but if it's not your mom, like, who else does? Um, no, mom. but I'm just saying, who who does a buddy? You're doing it. You're doing it. I was doing it. Way to go, you guys. Perfect scores. You're up to 300 bucks each. Before we go to break, let's see what Andy said on this one. If someone calls you a buttinski, what are they accusing you of doing? Budinski, watching people's derrieres. Are you a Budinski? Uh, no comment on that one. <laughs> yeah, there's two sons with them, didn't want to get in trouble. All right, let's recap the scores. Shonda, 300 bucks, perfect. Matt, also, three for three, got 300 bucks. Hey, it's time for some commercials to Budinski their way into the show, but stick around, Street Smarts will return, and so will the hunks. <laughs> studio contestants, and they are two good ones. We have the lovely Shawanda, Shawanda, Shawanda. Shawanda. Oh, see, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're from New York, New York. She's a housewife, a domestic engineer, she would say. And uh, you do everything around the house, don't you? Yes, I know how to work a chainsaw. I know <laughs> how to put up drywall. I know how to lay pipe. I know how to paint. I can do everything. Can you cook? I can cook better than your mama. Oh! <laughs> My mom was a pretty good cook. All right, okay. All right, now, Matt, we got Matt from Wasian, Ohio. Wasian. Wasian, damn! And he's a DJ, and uh, tell us about you were at the uh, airport one time. I was cruising through the LA airport, and uh, one of the security guards came and grabbed me and persisted that I give him my autograph. I had no idea what he was talking about, and so finally I gave it to him to get away from him, and he thought I was Eminem. <laughs> well, will we're the, we're the real Matt Shady please stand up? Please stand up. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's recap the scores. Perfect game. Shonda, 300 bucks. Matt, 300 bucks. Whether it's a Nor'easter or a Southwester, it's time to find out. Who blew it? I had the same question only two at a time. You guys have to guess who got it wrong. Lock in your choice. Correct guess earns you 200 bucks in this round, you guys. Yes. Plus, there's that dunce cap right there. You can only use it once this round. When you think your opponent doesn't know the answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get that 200 bucks. But if they're right, oh, they get the 200 bucks. Yeah. See that? The cap can be trickier than a trade win. So watch out. All right, guys. Here's the first question I asked to both Ashley and Andy. Which one of these would not be on a Starbucks menu? A, mo... You've been done, Shonda. That's fine. Throw it up there, Matt. Throw the cap up on her, Matt. Matt, throw the cap up on her. All right, I'm going to read the question uh, in its entirety, Shonda, and you'll have five seconds to answer this. Which of these would not be on a Starbucks menu? A, mocha frappuccino, B, Leo DiCaprio, or C, chai latte? Uh, B, uh, Leo DiCaprio. That's correct. Way to go, Shonda. Nice job. Throw that cup on Matt. You take the lead. Up to 500 bucks. Now, guys, what do you think who blew it up there? Do you think it was Ashley or do you think it was Andy? Okay, you're both locked in here. Ah, difference of opinion here. You think Matt, you think Ashley blew it, huh? She's in high school. She doesn't drink coffee yet. Okay, all right. Let's, well, so. let's take a look. Which of these would not be on a Starbucks menu? All right. A, mocha frappuccino. B, Leo DiCaprio. C, chai latte. It's B, because I wanted a frappuccino today, so I know that's on Well, there. what's the B? What was that? You said it. You the Leo it. DiCaprio. What yeah. is that? that? I don't even know. They're making that up. It's a painting or something. The Leo DiCaprio. He was a famous artist. Yeah, exactly. So why would that be on a coffee thing? Ah, she got that right. I'm sorry, Matt. Looks like, uh, Shana, this is a big question for you, because you got more money coming from Andy. Check it out. Andy, which of these would not be on a Starbucks menu? A, mocha frappuccino. B, Leo DiCaprio, or C, chai latte? Chai latte. Definitely. Why wouldn't it be on there? What is a chai latte? Chai latte is, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of a dance. A Leo DiCaprio, have you ever had one of those? Uh, I've never had one, had the problem. Instead, instead of getting the grande, I like to get the Titanic. Big one. <laughs> That's your wrong answer, way to go, Sean. It takes you up to 700 bucks. Sorry. Made 400 bucks on that question. Oh. And here's the next question I asked to Ashley and to Ben. In the Bible story of Adam and Eve, what part of Adam's body did God use to create Eve? Lock in as quickly as you can. 
And you're both locked in. You both think Ben. Shonda, you don't think uh, think he knows this? I, I don't think he does. I think he's totally clueless about the whole biblical thing. All right, let's see if you can get each 200 bucks. In the Bible story of Adam and Eve, what part of Adam's body did God use to create Eve? His rib. He's his rib. You read the Bible. I read the Bible. I studied the Bible at San Diego State with a couple of buddies, so. Very good. Way to go, Ben. He got that right. I'm sorry, you guys. Ashley blew it. Here it is. In the Bible story of Adam and Eve, what part of Adam's body did God use to create Eve? Can I say this on national TV? You know. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> That's your wrong answer, Ashley. All right, here's the last question round to Ben and to Andy. I asked both of them. If you kiss your lover in public, it's a PDA. What's PDA stand for? Matt, you need this money to get back in the game here, so lock in, you guys. And you're both locked in with Andy. So, Matt, you think he doesn't know this one? I don't think he's had a lot of PDA in the last few years. <laughs> so I'm... If you kiss your lover in public, it's a PDA. What's PDA stand for? PDA is public display of affection. Very good. Now, are you, are you comfortable with doing this? Uh, yes, I'm comfortable so with right doing So right now, would you give me a hug in public? A hug? Yeah, OK, all right. Yeah. Hey. Hold it, Andy. Hold it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Andy got that one right. It looks like Ben was the one who blew it. All right, let's recap this course. Matt, you got 300 bucks. Not bad, but Sean is $700. Wow. You know, now's a good time to engage in a little public display of affection on your own. But hurry, Street Smarts will return faster than you can say, get a room. <laughs> Andy, what comic's head did I shave to get this hair? Buddy, you shaved Carrot Top. Hey, man! Hey! You gotta make a phone call or something. <laughs> the speed of galloping, it's time to pick your pony. Each of you guys will choose a person for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Now, correct predictions were $300 in this round. Yes, the dunce cap is back. It's also worth 300 bucks. You can only use it once. Now, recapping the scores here. Let's see here. Matt, you got 300 bucks. Shonda's got 700. Player trailing goes first. Matt, that's you. So who would you like to pick for round three? I think I'm going to take this ride with You're going to go with, uh, OK, Ashley, good choice. Shonda, how about you? I'm definitely gonna go with Andy. Our That's dentist good. buddy, all right, good choices, guys. All right, Matt, here's first question to Ashley. In Star Wars 2, Attack of the Clones, Samuel L. Jackson had a big purple what? Oh, you've been done, Shonda! Throw the cap up there, Matt. All right, it's there once again. Now, now Shonda, oh, read this card. Uh, I'm gonna read this question. If you get this right, you'll get the 300 bucks. You have five seconds to answer. In Star Wars 2, Attack of the Clones, Samuel L. Jackson had a big purple what? Lifesaver. It's the wrong answer. I'm sorry, Shonda. Matt gets the 300 bucks. Nice job, Matt. Now, Matt, do you think Ashley got it right or wrong? You can actually make a lot of money. You can take the lead here with this one. She doesn't know a lot of anything. I'm going to have to go with the wrong. OK, lock in. You have to lock in there for me. Try it one more time. All right, let's check it out. In Star Wars 2, Attack of the Clones, Samuel L. Jackson had a big purple what? i seen this movie, you know. i seen You've it. seen it? And he had a saber. One of those swords. And his was purple. His was the only one that was purple. You know what, Asher? That's exactly right. I told you. I would have thought you might have you might have missed the Star Wars one. See, I did fall asleep during it, but I did <laughs> catch that part. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, Matt. She actually nailed that. It's a, it's a purple light, light, see, it's lightsaber. You said lifesaver. You were off there. Right? Oh, I yeah. was, oh. Yeah, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> OK, that's all right, Sean. You still have the lead. And here's your first question, Andy. Which of these does not exist? Flying squirrel, flying monkey, or flying cockroach? I think he got this <laughs> one right. OK, lock in with right. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Which of these does not exist? Flying squirrel, flying monkey, or flying cockroach? The flying cockroach. <laughs> oh, no, uh, flying. there's no such thing as flying monkeys. Yeah, Wizard of Oz had it. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's a fantasy, Andy. <laughs> He got that one wrong. I'm sorry, Sean. The Flying Monkeys, of course, in The Wizard of Oz, they don't exist. All right, here's your next question, Matt to Ashley. What item is most commonly traded on Wall Street? For the lead. There's no way. She got it wrong. All right, let's find out. What item is most commonly traded on Wall Street? Um, Wall Street Journal. They the trade journal. The, they got the journal, then. The Hence the title. Ex Wall oh, Street. There's a kid on the corner going, get your Wall Street Journal. Exactly. That's the wrong answer. Way to go, Matt. Takes up to 900. You got it.
that the lead correct answer is stocks. Okay, Wall Street. All right, here's your next question, Chanda, to Andy. I asked him, I want to see you give me a titty twister. So what do you think? Do you think uh, Andy did it to me or not? What do you think, Shonda? I think he got it right. Hopefully, okay, yes. Let's find out. He got it right. Andy, I want to see you give me a titty twister. Okay. <laughs> Should a dentist be doing that on TV? Uh, well, I asked you. No, probably not. But I asked you. You asked me to do it. So hey, you asked. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Matt, this is your last chance to win some money off Ashley. I asked her, name the McDonald's character who loves to steal hamburgers. What do you think, buddy? She's stealing those Happy Meals. I think she got it right. You think she got it right? All right, let's see if we can get you 300 bucks. Name the McDonald's character who loves to steal hamburgers. He's the purple guy, the purple dude. What's his name? Ronald McDonald. <laughs> no, I mean, you should you see you're grimacing right now, but what is the guy who steals the hamburgers? Grimace. No, Grimace is the big purple guy, yeah, but the, the, the hamburglar steals the hamburgers. Oh, that's right. That's right. She got that wrong. I'm sorry, Matt. I can't give you any McMoney on that one. So now, Shonda, <laughs> here's your last question. The round to Andy. You can, uh, you can increase your lead here. I asked him, the Powerpuff Girls are A, cartoon superheroes, B, the Daughters of the Spice Girls, or C, a team of world-renowned makeup artists? I really, really hope that he's seen the trailer and okay. he's gotten this one. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get to trailer bucks. <laughs> the Powerpuff Girls are A, cartoon superheroes, B, the Daughters of the Spice Girls, or C, world-renowned makeup artists? They are world-renowned makeup artists. The Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Right. They got the power pie. They come in and they, you know, they put the puff on. Right. They work at the studios, I guess. Right. They, well, that's why, you know, here we are outside Universal Studios, you know. Over the nose. That's what they do. <laughs> that's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Shauna. Shauna, the correct answer is uh, they're cartoon superheroes, right? Right. All right. Let's recap the score. Matt, you got 900 bucks. But Shauna, you still have that lead of $1,000. All right. When we return, Shauna and Matt will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Ashley, Ben, and Andy. I asked them, Siegfried and Roy are a Vegas act best known for featuring what animals? Grr! Things are getting dangerous around here. It must be time for... The Wager of Keep it glued! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Sean and Matt, here's the tally. Now, during the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Good game. Close. Matt's got 900 bucks. Sean has got 1,000 bucks. All right, that glimmer you see is a tiny bit of hope. One final question and one final winner. Now, here's a question I asked to Ashley, Ben, and Andy. Siegfried and Roy are a Vegas act best known for featuring what animals? So let's get your choices. Sean, do you have 1,000 bucks, a slim lead? Whose clip do you want to see? Andy. You're going with Andy, our dentist. Good choice. Matt, how about you? Uh, I'm going to pick Ashley. You're going with Ashley. All right, nobody picked Ben. Ben, he was very funny. Good luck, buddy. All right, Sean, you went with Andy. Let's take a look, see what he said. Siegfried and Roy are a Vegas act best known for featuring what kind of animals? Uh, dolphins. That is a wrong answer. Now, Shonda, you went with Andy. We saw him get it wrong. What did you think he would do? You said he'd get it right. Shonda, how much did you wager of your thousand bucks? You wagered 900. Okay, well, that busts you down to 100 bucks. You're still in this game. You might be able to walk away with a little money. Matt, you're in the driver's seat. You went with Ashley. Let's take a look at her clip, see what happens. Siegfried and Roy are a Vegas act best known for featuring what animals? Zoo animals, tigers, you know, that big white tiger. That's right. That is a correct answer. Way to go, Ashley. Now, Matt, you went with Ashley. She got it right. What did you say, Matt? You I said she would she get it. it wrong. wrong. All right, Matt, you had 900 bucks. If you held on to some money there, you might have won. What'd you wager? Did you save anything? <laughs> he wagered it all. Bust him down to zero. Shonda, you won 100 bucks. Congratulations, to go. Thank you, guys. Hey, what did we learn today? Well, listen, hey, if you guys know Andy, he's a dentist. He's got a lot of money. He's trying to sell him some flying monkeys. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Come on over, you guys. Good job. Siegfried and Roy are a Vegas act best known for featuring what animals? Tiger. That's right. Very good.